Hey guys, it's Omara with Side Hustle Exploration. Today, I'm going to show you how to recreate a drawing I did on day nine of the 30 day challenge. This is what we're going to recreate. All you will need is a pen and an eight and a half by 11 sheet of printer paper. And that's about it. So without further ado, let's get to it. First things first, we're going to start with creating a star, drawing a star somewhat in the middle of your sheet of paper. Then we're going to go ahead and outline that section with another star. This is something we're going to do three to four times. As you can see here, this is me finishing that first layer for that outline and moving on to the second one. If you're wondering what pen I am using, I am using the Zebra Pen USA Sarasa Fine Liner in the color blue. I found this pen to be really nice to utilize for creating fine details as well as coloring in small sections. This is the third layer that completes this segment and now I'm adding arches where the star has that V section. I don't know what to call it but that's what I'm calling it. Hope that makes sense. And now I'm going ahead and outlining the new section in which I just added. So the pattern is going to be that with every new segment added, you will go ahead and outline that section. Each outline will be three to four outlines per new section added. I am hoping this will make sense as you watch along, but for now, this is it. It's officially time to add a new section. This section is kind of like a triangle with a uh, squared off end or side. I'm not sure what to call this, but it's a not so triangle triangle, <laughs> triangle square remix. <laughs> but once you have these, this new section added, you're gonna go ahead and outline as we did before. And we're gonna do this three to four times. Finishing off this last layer, which is the fourth layer for this particular segment. And now it's time to add a new section, which is a few triangles 
um, not the remix square triangle, but just basic triangles around those sections. Again, go ahead and outline that section three to four times. For this new section, I'm not sure um, what to call it, but you will see what I'm doing as I do it as shown right here. I'm not sure what to call that, just basically closing gaps, <laughs> but you see what's happening. So just follow along because my words aren't following. And uh, with that said, go ahead and outline that new section that we just did and proceed with doing a three to four outline. For the new section, I'm going ahead and adding semicircles or arches, whatever you call them, I'm adding them. <laughs> and after adding them, we're going to go ahead and outline the new added section. I'm pretty sure you're probably tired of hearing me say three to four sections, but it's three to four sections being added in this section. As you can see, you don't have to be perfect when creating your lines. You can clearly see my shaky hands have been doing a number here. Um, a lot of my sections are running into each other. My lines are running into each other. Um, some lines are thicker or wider than others, but that's okay. There is some beauty in imperfection. Just go ahead and finish off this layer before adding a new section. In this new section, I'm not sure what to call this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call them elephant ears. So go ahead and add as you see them. 
they're not particularly um, symmetric my drawings I really have a difficulty making things symmetric so I've just embraced the fact that things would be falling off the page or off-center or etc I'm cool with it if you want a symmet symmetric look um, feel free to do so but once this section is completed my elephant ears are in I go ahead and outline that section three to four times I'll stop repeating three to four times moving forward because I think by now y'all are probably tired of me saying this or you already got the point For the new section that I'm adding, I'm just putting in arches to fill in gaps. And then I'm going to go ahead and outline that new section. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment with your question in the um, comment section. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. The arch that I did before this one. I kind of like added as a second thought, an after effect type situation. So I hope I didn't throw you off in this process. Remember I said I was using the arches to fill in the gaps? I had forgotten to add a arch back there. And so I had last minute added it. Um, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but if it doesn't, make sure to let me know. I'm not sure what to call this new section that I'm creating. Um, I just made a, a, a triangle, but I did not connect it with the rest of the body of the drawing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably not that visible. I'll do my best to get uh, a close up here so that you can see what's really going on. But um, then I go on to outline that section, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and do another triangle on the other side there, uh, doing the same scenario or situation or technique that I used on the other side. Um, but I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna try my best to do a little zoom in.
so I wanted to add a little flare after doing this last section here and I added some swirlies I'm not sure really what to call them curly cues whatever you want to call them I added some swirls I want the jazz things up a little bit and give it a little um, frilly look and so I added these swirls Betty boot curls whatever you want to call them <laughs> I added them and I, I really liked how it turned out So I'm going to be adding a new section here. I am squaring off the sides and then once that is in place, I then go ahead and add a triangle in the center where my Betty Boop curls meet. <laughs> and then go ahead and outline that new section.
so this is where the fun part begins uh this is where we draw the lines to where the uh, angles meet which kind of activates a 3d vibe or feel to the drawing which i enjoy greatly um i'm gonna zoom in so you can see exactly what i mean Isn't it pretty cool how you can turn flat lines into 3D uh, drawings? It's pretty cool. I am enjoying the transformation as I do them. Um, I hope you're enjoying it too. Now that we have done all of our outline, we're uh, making the drawing more 3D. We're gonna go ahead and color the one, the first layer closest to the newest layer's outline. I know that doesn't make sense, so I'm hoping that visually you can see what's happening. So as you can see, the new sections that we had added initially, I'm just going ahead and coloring in or filling in the first outline made around that initial new ad. Please let me know if that makes sense. It just could be 100% confusing, but let me know if that makes sense. Just proceed as you see the actions occurring before you. <laughs>
So here I'm adding a detail, uh, which is basically me scribbling, uh, doing small circular motions with my pen and just continuing along that process as I go around. So literally just scribbling, just glorified scribbling occurring here. I speed it up so you can check it out. Um, and I do that in those other locations illustrated here. These little arches, I also do my scribble in and then one of the elephant ear sections. Now I proceed with doing hatch marks along the edges. I don't know exactly how to explain this particular location, but you can visually see where I'm doing the hatch marks around in outline. So if you didn't know, I do like the look of scales and therefore I created scales on the triangle parts of this drawing as well as the uh, corner, side corner sections. You'll see what I mean when I get there um, with the uh, scales. So when doing the scales, make sure to offset them so that they're not in line with each other. Otherwise, it's just going to look kind of awkward. And there you have it, the finished look.